Good morning everyone, Mike here. I've got a great video for you guys today. So today we're going to be talking about this flow hood a little bit. As many of you know, I uh, built this thing basically over the weekend. And I've built some of these previously. I've been mushroom farming, like I said, nearly a decade. And I've owned laminar flow hood that is uh, behind my left shoulder over here. And then I have a um, filter fan unit, FFU, that is over here on this side. And basically the one I built was this big bad boy uh, right here. And I wanna to talk to you today kind of about how you can test one for airflow just to make sure you have adequate airflow coming out of it. Now this can be, like I said, whether you built one, bought one, or you just got one running on your farm for a little while. It's good to check these things and make sure. Um, now this is, I'm not gonna go over the full construction of this in this build. I'm gonna save that for later. I still have a few adjustments I need to make on my pre-filter thing. Uh, before I want to like put up the full video on that But since this thing is flowing adequately I felt this was a great opportunity just to show how you can test one of these things and make sure you have adequate airflow coming out of them now You can use different um, tools they actually there's a wind um, Speed meter you can get to actually see how fast that air is coming out of there and it'll give you like a reading um, and then you can also I have I like using stuff like lighters so I have a lighter, and today we're going to do a flame test, and I'll show you what the flame will do. And I also have an incense stick, okay? And we're going to do that, use that to do a smoke test. And the smoke test is actually my favorite. I think that's the coolest. So um, I'm going to show you both of these methods today. And th this is good to do from time to time, especially if you're on your farm, okay? And then let's just say you start getting contamination out of nowhere, and you're kind of wondering how it happened. Um, sometimes your flow hood could be the culprit, okay? Maybe you don't have enough airflow um, coming out of it. Maybe you have a hole in it. It could be anything, okay? It really could be anything. But like, this is just one thing you can um, use. Have It's like a tool in your tool belt that you can use to test and just see, hey, what is the problem? And this will tell you whether or not you have enough airflow. And I just wanna say the lighter method is like, basic standard like OG grower method I feel like any any old school growers know this method like um, really common so uh, the lighter test is, is basically really simple what we're, what we're looking for like right now we have the lighter flame straight up and down there's nothing really affecting it but when wind starts blowing on it that flame will blow over and get slightly angled and that's what the flow hood should accomplish you want the flow hood to slightly blow the flame over but not blow it out because you don't want too much airflow. You want to be like in the Goldilocks zone. You want just enough airflow where you got clean air moving and it's able to move any mold and back bacterial spores out of your works area and your work surface fast enough where it's not going to fall into the stuff you're working with. So that's what you want. You want it to be kind of fast enough where it's going to move horizontally and create good laminar flow, but not be too turbulent at the same time either. So you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get over there. Um, the smoke is the best way to really see that true horizontal laminar flow coming out of there. It's cool, dude. And I just want to say, I picked that method up from years and years ago. Okay, I was watching a YouTube video. It was a guy that had a lab, I believe in like medical university or something like that. And he was teaching someone new how to work in front of the flow hood. And what they use as a teaching tool is um, they have this like smoke stick type of thing where it's a smoke machine where they would put that smoke in front of the flow hood just to show the student where that clean air is flowing out of the flow hood because one thing you um you you do when you work in front of these flow hoods you learn um, what's called sterile technique or just in general you kind of learn sterile technique and how to work in front of one of these things and one of these keys you got to remember when you're doing this is you never want to block your path of clean airflow with like your hand or something while you're working because then that clean air if it hits something and there's a contaminant on it, it's no longer clean. So you never want to block that clean airflow with anything. So anyway, I picked up the smoke screen tip from um, a video just talking about how to work in front of a laminar flow hood, but it's actually a great testing method too. So anyway, we're going to go over in front of the flow hood. You guys can probably hear it running behind me. And um, we're just going to do a couple of these tests so you guys can see uh, how, how the airflow is supposed to come out of there. Okay, everyone. So we're over here. I'm going to do this flame test and I got, I got an incense stick burning behind so if there's smoke that comes into the camera that's what it is but uh, first we're gonna do the lighter flame test and you can see as it's in the camera frame and we are in front of the flow hood the lighter is angled over okay and you should see it go vertical as I get closer to the camera 
Remember to drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Now let's get back to the flow hood. So you guys can see that is a vertical flame. Okay. It's only moving because I'm shaking a little bit. Now, as I move it back towards me in front of the flow hood, you will see the flame kind of blow over at a slight angle. Oh, you guys see that? See how it's no longer vertical? Flame is angled. Let me get closer to the camera again. And it's going vertical as we get out of the airflow, okay? Back in front of the airflow. It's angled. All right, so that's it. That's what you guys can see. You should just see that flame kind of slightly blow over, not blow out completely, but get close, you know, so slightly blow over. And it actually, it is kind of hard to light the lighter in front of the flow hood. There you go, but you see how, look how that flame is angled. That's perfect, okay? Now, I wanna show you uh, the smoke screen test, all right? Now I have this incense stick I've got lit over here. It's kind of hard, I've noticed, to see the smoke on camera, but I'm just gonna do my best and we'll try a couple angles, so that way you guys can see it. Okay, incense stick, hopefully, the, there we go, I, I feel like the camera's picking it up. But basically, you wanna see this smoke blowing horizontally. All right, now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna keep moving the camera around a little bit just so you guys can maybe see that. But, the smoke is basically coming off the incense stick. And it, this is actually a pretty nice angle. There you go. Look at that. Laminar flow. How cool is that? And if you guys notice too, I mean, th this is the perfect height. It's like this all over the filter. Like as long as we're in the airflow, it stays like this. So cool though that you can see all right so there we go two easy ways you can kind of test your flow hood um to make sure it's working properly and you have adequate airflow coming out of it you can use like i said either the lighter the incense stick and you don't necessarily need um, a fancy wind speed meter or anything like that just to make sure your flow head's working good so if you guys have any questions on this whole thing just put that in the comment section below and i will get to those and address that but one thing you'll notice too, just over time as you guys gain experience, you kind of feel just the air around you and the stuff around you and you know whether or not things are working right just by feel. Like I can stand in front of this thing right now and I can feel adequate airflow coming out of it. I can feel like a good little breeze. And just from my experience, I know that it's good, you know? And you know when it's not enough if you ever feel it once you've been doing this enough. Like if your pre-filter starts getting kind of clogged or whatever and it needs replace, you might all of a sudden not feel that breeze as much one day and then you can bust out the lighter or the incense stick and you'll see that, hey, it's not really flowing as good as it normally does. So then that's when the pre-filter may need a change or something like that. So there's little um, physical cues you actually will feel too. Even in my grow rooms, if, if I go in a grow room and it just like doesn't feel right, I can tell if there's not enough airflow in the grow rooms. I can honestly feel it if the CO2 is too high. And even with um, the humidity levels, I can feel when the humidity is out of whack and stuff like that, if it's too dry or whatever, you know? So you will kind of just, over time, gain a feel for these things uh, with experience. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative today. And if you have any questions, like I said, put them in the comment section below and I will get to them. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already because I've got way more cool mushroom videos coming up. And I will have, like I said, the build on this thing. I just got to do a couple more tweaks on the pre-filter area. And I will put that video up. But that is all I got for you today, guys. Hope you have a great day. See you on the next one.